Hello friends. Welcome to my new Java programming tutorial series video. Today, we will discuss, how to accept user input from the keyboard in Java. Let's move ahead to NetBeans and see how this concept works. In order to demonstrate the working, let's create a Java class. We will name it as, Keyboard Reader Test. Provide it a main method. Keep it in a package say, com.hubberspot. Click Finish. Friends. In order to read user input from keyboard, we need few objects such as, 1. System.in. Second, input stream reader. Third, buffered reader. System.in is an object that represents keyboard, that is input device. Java runtime environment creates this object for us to use. System.in reads raw bytes of data from keyboard. Moving ahead. Input stream reader convert raw bytes to characters. It converts raw bytes from keyboard to characters. Finally, buffered reader. In order to read characters line by line we need buffered reader. Buffered reader helps in reading a huge chunk of characters at a time, and maintains it in buffer. Let's see it's working through Java code. Create instance of input stream reader. The constructor takes in an input stream instance, from which input stream reader reads raw data, and converts it to characters. In our case, system.in, is the input stream which represent keyboard. Moving ahead. Let's create instance of buffered reader. The constructor takes in a reader instance, so that it can read characters line by line. In our case, input stream reader is the reader instance. Moving ahead. Let's prompt user to enter something from keyboard. Let's store user input into a string variable by name message. Buffered reader has a method by name read line. Which reads user input line by line. It throws an IO exception. Let's surround our code with try catch block. Finally, let's print user input on the console.
run the Java file. It prompts user to enter something. Let's enter hello John and press enter key. It prints user message from keyboard on console. The same thing can be achieved by scanner instance. Let's see how. Let's create an instance of scanner object. It also takes in system.in instance to read user input from keyboard. Let's prompt user once again to enter something. Scanner class has method by name next line, which reads user input line by line. Let's print user input from keyboard on console once again. If you run it again, it displays result same as buffered reader. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that, how to accept user input from the keyboard in Java, concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.